Obviously, this I have made a decision to postpone the execution of Timothy McVeigh for one month from this day so that the execution would occur on June the 11th, 2001, in an effort to allow his attorneys ample and adequate time to review these documents and to take any action they might deem appropriate in that interval. Until subsequent to the time the letter was written and uh, obviously subsequent to the time when they had been informed. It is now clear that the FBI failed to comply fully with that discovery agreement that was reached in 1996. Today, I have asked the Inspector General of the Justice Department to investigate fully the FBI's belated delivery of documents and other evidence created uh, during this investigation. Mr. McVeigh, as I recall, uh, said he did it, and I, I, I take him for his word. I believe strongly the Attorney General made the right decision today. Anytime we're preparing to carry out the death penalty, we have a solemn obligation to make sure that the case has been handled in full accordance with all the guarantees of our Constitution. The very foundations of our democracy depend on our ability to assure our citizens that in all criminal cases, and especially in the death penalty, defendants have been treated fairly. Headed by Judge Webster, I'm confident that that commission will take a full look as to why the documents were not given to uh, Mr. McVeigh's lawyers, and I look forward to seeing what those findings are. Mr. McVeigh is lucky to be in a country like this. It's unfortunate that he would feel like reveling at all after um, after what he supposedly has done. There's a lot of people's lives he affected in, in, there's a lot of people in Oklahoma City. I went to the memorial. I got to see the faces of people, uh, the pictures of people whose lives were lost. I talked to relatives who still weep when they think about a relative. This isn't a time to revel.